All new cells produced by cell division contain DNA in the nucleus and elsewhere. The nucleus of the cell controls all cell activity. Due to the unique sequence of chemicals in DNA, the sequence is different in every person. DNA carries instructions to make proteins like hormones, enzymes, muscle and hair. The DNA chain is there for very long as it goes for thousands of proteins. To fit in the nucleus, the DNA molecule must be wound up very carefully into structures called chromosomes. The sequence on DNA that instructs a cell to make a protein is called a gene. The nucleus of each human body cell contains 46 chromosomes. Each chromosome contains about 1,000 genes. There is enough DNA in all the cells in a human body to stretch to the sun and back again over 60 times. Humans inherit 23 of their chromosomes from their mother and 23 chromosomes from their father. Other mammals also inherit half their chromosomes from each parent. If we know what versions of genes two parents have, we can predict the chance that the children will inherit certain characteristics. For example, if a mother carries all the genes for blonde hair, and the father does too, then the child will turn out to have blonde hair. If the mother has blonde hair, but also carries a gene for brown hair, and the father has brown hair, but also carries a gene for blonde hair, then the child could have either blonde or brown hair. This proves useful if parents know they are carrying a gene for a certain condition. The chance of the child getting the condition can be worked out. Determining gene sequences is vitally important for diagnosing genetic disorders in children. DNA in the nucleus codes for specific proteins to be made in the cell. The DNA transfers instructions to a structure in the cytoplasm called a ribosome. The ribosome allows amino acids to join together to make proteins. Created using Powtoon.